will take time to come to terms with everything that happened in the Dominion. But time is the one thing we always seem to lack. It will take time to come to terms with everything. What's that for, you, dear? No scratches, right? Round and round the city clock, the wyvern chased the eagle. The bird he sought to catch his breath, down came the eagle. Round and round the city clock, the wyvern... Lady Karen told me that you'd begun dealings with the Crimson Caravans. A word of warning. Tighten your purse strings when in bock, lad. There are few shrewder than Eloise in matters of business. Lady Karen told me that you'd begun dealings with the Crimson Caravans. I heard the Emperor was impaled on his own son's spear. Never. We're all gonna die! You hear me? The Akashic are coming and they won't stop until they slaughtered everything. I was thinking I might pen a novel of my own, to tell the story of the hideaway. I change all the names, of course. Well, except for mine, that is. I was thinking I might pen a novel of my own, to tell the story of the hideaway. I change all the names, of We've received word that the displacement stacks have arrived safely in Canva. The rest is up to mid. We've received word that the displacement stacks have arrived safely in Canva. The rest is up to mid. All this fuss over a few dark clouds. You'd think the people here had never seen a storm before. That leather loosener was only the first of the discoveries the Olympic's gonna help us make. Just you wait, Sid. Just you wait! After Drake's head, I was beginning to wonder if you'd lost interest in Sid's grand scheme. But here we are. Another crystal cracked, another nation in disarray. You wear the mantle of outlaw well. After Drake's head, I was beginning to wonder if you'd lost interest in Sid's grand scheme. But here we are. Another crystal cracked, another nation in disarray. You wear the mantle of outlaw well. here can have Otto and Gav and Gareth and Cole and all the rest. My heart beats for another. Now, oh, if only Lady Taya would let me into the infirmary to see him. The girls here can have Otto and Gav and Gareth.
can hardly lift my arms. The curse, it's... You just need some rest. The injuries suffered by both your brother and the prince were bad enough. But that wound above Joshua's heart is unlike anything I've ever seen. Were he not a dominant, I fear he would have succumbed to it long ago. The injuries suffered by both your brother and the prince were bad enough. you today, Clive. It's not true. We've lost so much already. Is everything we've received and everything promised? Best of luck out there, Sid. Clive! I don't mean to be gloomy. They need all the help they can get. Here you go. Seen enough? What are you making them skies then? They're alone when it's warm. Should come back the scouts. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. There's barely been a shipment in since the skies started boiling. A few more days without a visit and we'll have to start eating the blankets. There's barely been a shipment in since the skies started boiling. A few more days without a visit and we'll have to start eating the blankets. That matter. The battle cries of dread one die. Shrinks the glim, so spirit still, an answered call of prayers. The bad <laughs> Ivan's newest dish is a fast. There's a storm coming, Sid. Will there be thunder? Good morrow to you, my friend. With the darkening skies. But be that as it may. I have a few new notes that might interest you. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it.
always welcome, Clive. I was wondering when next you'd visit. Thank you for indulging an old man. There's a storm coming, Sid. Seems the hideaway's lost its appetite. Can you blame them? Would you look like you could do with a drink? Oh, you're not leaving already, are you? Thanks for not leaving me in the Dominion. If you hadn't come back, I might still be stuck there. I told Nan we flew back on the Phoenix, but she walloped me for telling fibs. Can you tell her it was the truth, Clive? Thanks for not leaving me in the Dominion. If you hadn't come back... Still alive, are you? <sighs> the whole realm's in chaos. But as the old saying goes... If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Eh? Finished, are you? Skies drive your own skies then. Most of the hideaways on edge. Should call back the scouts. What will it be today? Allow me to educate you. Thus ends today's lesson. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fact Storm's out Mother Crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. I see that every report that comes my way makes it into the hands of both Lady Vivian and the Norsemen. If anyone could tell you what might be barreling down the mountain towards us, it would be that bear. I see that every report that comes my way makes it into the hands of both Lady Vivian and the Norsemen. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. 
and those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand? Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing, but pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Back again? Then how could it not? But are we any better? I cannot claim. Such are the wages. Ironic, then. Should I learn aught else, you will be the first to know. I see that every report that comes my way makes it into the hands of both Lady Vivian and the Lord's Mates. If anyone can tell Thanks for not leaving me in the Dominion. If you hadn't come back, I might still be stuck there. I told Nan we flew back on the Phoenix. She wallet me for telling fibs. Is a storm coming, Sid? Will there be thunder? Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? 
that Ultima was one of the gods responsible. Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. Ah, <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Knowledge hoarded is not be careful, Clive. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cache at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... there's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. I'm ready when you are, Clive. I'm ready when you are, Clive. The messages from Martha, Isabel, and Lubor weren't long. But what they lacked in detail, they more than made up for in urgency. Our friends need your help. The messages from Martha, Isabel, and Lubor...
Weren't long. But what they lacked in detail, they more than made up for in urgency. Our friends need your help. How are you doing? Quick look. Always something in there. Kashik attacked us out of the blue. And there's no telling when they might be back. You best keep that sword handy, Sid. The Akashic attacked us out of the blue. And there's no telling when they might be back. You best keep that sword handy, Sid. Let me go with you. I can fight. Fiends try to climb the walls here, too. Founder knows where they're gonna show their ugly faces next. Fiends try to climb the walls here, too. Founder knows where they're gonna show their ugly faces next. Thanks to the Akashic, all of the men are either on watch, readying for the next attack, or confined to their sick beds. All while my bed remains as cold and as empty as those demons' hearts. Thanks to the Akashic, all of the men are either on watch, readying for the next attack, or confined to their sick beds. All while my bed remains as cold and as empty. My, my brothers, are, are they? What are you after? Thanks very much. I wanted one of those. 
Is that everything? Very well. Mad dogs, the love. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there are as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. If they ain't clawing at the gates, they're climbing up the cliffs near the lift. The lads are doing what they can to keep them out, but unlike the Akashic, they need sleep. If they ain't clawing at the gates, they're climbing Would up the have? cliffs near the lift. The lads are doing what they can to keep them out, but unlike the Akashic, they need sleep. Abandoned us, do you? Them not. Not a chance. Clive, wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? 
So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you when on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels, and they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. It looked like the Guardians were going as quick as they could, but without any injured. They might make it to the cliff. Or they might not. It looked like the Guardians... The lift can only carry a few at a time. If those Akashic get as far as the cliff, Wade's men will have nowhere to run. The lift can only carry a few at a time. If those Akashic get as far as the cliff, Wade's men... My... My brothers. Shh. Don't try to talk. My dogs. The law of them. <clears throat> I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Thank you! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty.
Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for Eastpool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck.
That's better.
don't want to see any more of our friends hurt. I don't want to see any more of our friends hurt. There's barely been a shipment in since the sky started boiling. A few more days without a visit and we'll have to start eating the blankets. Not much more to say, is there? Our friends are in need. Either we help them, or we lose them. Not much more to say, is there? Our friends are in need. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid.